Hey everyone, once again it's James here and I have another PygumBot 9.0 video tutorial for you. Uh, in this video what I want to show you is the proxy harvester in proxy testing uh, abilities of uh, PygumBot 9.0. Uh, previous version series 8.0 and below never had any uh, proxy tools within it but PygumBot 9.0 is coming with a lot of really cool features to help you guys with your marketing. So let's jump right into it. The proxy harvester is really simple and super fast to use. There's no other proxy harvester that will get you proxies as fast as PygonBot 9.0 will get that for you. So all you have to do is click that button on the scraping module here and uh, that says harvest proxies. Uh, you can come up here and you can set this value to anything that you'd like. You could do, you know, 50 or uh, uh, or 100 or uh, 1,000 or 10,000 or 100,000. Um, for this uh, example here, I'm just going to uh, download um, 100,000 just so you can see how fast and quick that this uh, runs. And uh, I'll hit start. And you'll notice that uh, the proxy harvester is uh, super fast. Within about two seconds, it, it was able to harvest 100,000 public proxies. Uh, once it's completed, uh, you'll get a little pop-up that says process completed. Now, to jump straight to the tester, uh, to be able to test to see if these proxies are working, all you have to do is click the test proxies button. A uh, little info box will pop up asking you if you want to test them. You click yes or no. And then uh, it may, depending on the uh, RAM of your computer and the size of the proxy list that you're going to be uh, testing, um, you might notice a little uh, momentary not responding lapse. Uh, don't worry about that uh, because what it's doing is it's, it's loading a shit ton of proxies, a shit ton of, of data lines in, into the tester. So people that have machines uh, with, with lots of RAM, lots of processing power probably won't see that. But machines that uh, are probably uh, 4 gigs or less will, might see that. Uh, my, sh my machine that I'm using here is a 4 gigabyte RAM. So anyways, uh, those 100,000 public proxies that we just harvested are now loaded into the test uh, the tester. And uh, in the tester, you'll notice a drop-down box here. In this drop-down box, you can actually check different options to see if the proxies that you've harvested work with specific sites. Uh, it also has the ability, three different options, uh, to check the actual proxy location. Um, that way you can see which uh, uh, area or region of the world that those proxies relate to. These are different uh, IP uh, checking uh, services, uh, and you'll have to figure out which one works best for, for what you're doing. Um, I personally have found that, uh, that the... Uh, Checking them against the Info Sniper was a pretty good one to uh, test against. Uh, but uh, it is something that you'll have to decide and test them. I do know that there's other people that prefer other specific uh, checkers. So, But uh, you'll notice in here that you can check the proxies against Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, eBay, Foot Locker, uh, Google. Uh, you'll actually notice two of them here uh, for Google. One says check on Google.com. The other one says check proxies against Google contact forms. Uh, if you're going to be... Uh, uh, using proxies uh, to actually scrape with a contact form footprint or any uh, kind of advanced footprint, uh, you might want to uh, only check uh, proxies against contact form footprints uh, because uh, Google can be a little bit strict when it comes to uh, those search queries. Uh, they know what's going on. They know that people are harvesting these details from them, and, they, and, and so they've made it a little bit stricter on the IP addresses. Um, <clears throat> some of the different footprints that aren't uh, so specific like that, uh, the proxies that work on Google.com, 
calm a lot of times will, will be sufficient enough. Uh, if you're just searching uh, Google with regular keywords with no footprints, uh, you'll, you'll be able to get away with just doing a, a check against Google.com. Anyways, uh, just for the sample of this video, I'm going to check the proxies without a footprint, and all this is measuring is whether or not the actual proxy is active, working, or not actively working. So um, I want you to see how super fast this is. After you hit start, uh, you'll have a little pop-up comes up, uh, asks you uh, how many threads you would like to run. Uh, you can choose up to 100 threads to test against. Uh, once that's done, uh, you also have an option here for any proxy ports that you may want to skip. Like, for example, you may not want any proxies with the port uh, 3128. So all you would do is type in 3128 or any of them uh, that you don't want to collect or test against, and you just click Add and, and go ahead and start. Uh, for this test, I'm not going to skip any ports. I'm just going to take everything that I loaded in here. So I'm going to click OK, and you're going to notice that the proxy tester is going to start working right away. And the proxy tester, once it starts getting up there uh, where the hundreds of threads are, threads are running, you'll notice that this thing is super quick. I don't even think that there's another proxy checker out there that's uh, this fast. So there's a lot of power that's behind this. Um, and this is going to give you guys the ability to be able to use uh, proxies for different things within PygonBot itself, whether it's for scraping or if it's posting to different uh, websites. Um, or if it's social media uh, modules that you'll be using, um, you'll be able to scrape public proxies uh, from uh, around the world, and we are and, and we're harvesting hundreds of thousands of proxies from all over the internet. We try to include every source that we can find. So, um, anyways. Uh, once this process is, is completely done, uh, it will have a pop-up that comes up and asks you if you'd like to load those active proxies into PygonBot. And if you plan on using them with your scrape, all you have to do is click uh, Yes, and then it will load those active working proxies into PygonBot for your, for your uh, uh, marketing needs. Uh, now, I would like to put a note on here that these are public proxies that it's harvesting. So the lifespan of public proxies uh, does vary. Some of them may only work for seconds, some of them minutes, some of, some of them hours, some of them days. Uh, I've had some that, that have worked for months at a time. Um, but they certainly are not the same quality of proxies that you may get, for example, that are private dedicated proxies. Um, private dedicated proxies are, are simply the best proxies that you could possibly get, um, but they can be expensive. They, they typically run from anywhere from a dollar to two dollars per IP address. Uh, for scraping uh, in Pygon Byte, you really don't need, um, uh, for, for a minim, minimal amount of scraping, you really only need just a, a handful of proxies. Uh, and, and if you find that you may need more, uh, you can always get more as well. But I know that a lot of people will like to get the private dedicated proxies, and then they'll also use some of these public proxies uh, that work and uh, uh, mix them together for their proxy list. Uh, it's kind of up to you uh, how you want to do it. Uh, other people you know, might find public proxies a headache just because lifespan variances can, can differ. Uh, but I can tell you that I have used public proxies out of here, just a handful of them, and was able to scrape uh, 100,000 plus results. Now, I understand that as more people get PyGumBot, you know, they'll be using, you know, various proxies and stuff. So from day to day, uh, the proxy uh, quality may vary like any other proxy scraper out there. But uh, in general, you should be able to find public proxies to use for scraping. Um, and if you don't even want to deal with the headache of pub public proxies, again, I would say the best thing you could ever get would be private dedicated proxies. Uh, and those will be proxies that only you are using. Uh, anyways, uh, you guys see how fast that this thing is rolling in the checker now. All 100 threads are running. It's going really fast, really smooth. So... That's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this new feature in PygonBot 9.0. Uh, be sure to uh, like this video and share it uh, with your friends or other marketing groups out there. Let them see the power that's behind this beast. 
And uh, just in case you guys uh, don't know about our affiliate program, be sure to go to www.pygumbot.com to check out our affiliate program uh, because you can uh, show your friends these videos and refer them over um, to our, our website with your affiliate link. Uh, once you create an account, you'll receive an affiliate link and you'll make 35% commission on any sales uh, that you get from that. Uh, anyways, you guys have a great day and keep on keeping on with your marketing work.